Hello, bonjour. I get pleasure with you here today. That is a fabulous day. Um, I, I will talk to you about uh, essential oils. This is such a great topic. I did research on it. It's a fabulous topic. So my name is Agathe Mathieu. I'm a living cuisine chef. I, um, I am eating uh, living food. And so essential oil is living food. I'm eating living food for 19 years. And uh, it's been fabulous in my life. You know, all the health it has brought is uh, just unbelievable. So here we go. I will talk to you about it today. Um, well, as you know, I told my story in the past, like for me, it was arthritis all gone with eating living food. So how about, you know, thinking of the power of food, the power of nature? I call it mother's nature's pharmacy. And that's certainly what uh, healing, what essential oils are. So during this presentation, you'll hear um, uh, terms like, you know, you'll say uh, could help with, might be beneficial for, probably could use, um, used by provisional, consult with your doctor. That language is commonly used to dilute the facts to uh, eliminate lawsuits. So when you, you do research online and you see that sort of thing, is to eliminate the lawsuits. So it doesn't mean that the product is not doing what, it's, what it says it's doing. And especially, of course, you'll see that language when it comes to things that are natural. And, um, you know, it's not, if it's non pharmaceutical, that language is used a lot uh, to, yeah, again, you know, to, 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 um, and unfortunately, what it does in using that language, it really dim diminish the power of, uh, you know, language and thoughts. How, when you think of using something and you, you believe, you know, you believe, you have a sense that this is going to work, but then you use the term, it might work it doesn't work as well. You know that it's, you know, it's like you're about to accomplish a task and you go, I might be successful. <laughs> you might not be successful, right? So, uh, so yeah, so that's the, the unfortunate part of um, the, the fact that the language is used that way. So here we go. Let's just continue on what I felt. So I found from the NIH, which is the National Library of Medicine. So it's it's you know it's it's been approved there that aroma aromatherapy encourages the healing process, largely through relaxation and the relief of stress. Aromatherapy can be of great benefits and adjunct to conventional medicine or used simply as an alternative. You see, they're using that language there. They're saying you know you might do medicine at the same time, but um, you know it, it can use as an alternative. And I always say to people, unless of course your issue is huge and needs immediate attention, otherwise you're going to die, um, you know, use the alternative quote unquote first, which is Mother's Nature's Pharmacy. Studies have shown that essential oils um, have an effect on brain waves and can also alter behavior. The effect on the oil is probably transmitted through the brain via the olfactory system. So, and that's from the, again, the National Library of Medicine, the NIH. The Discover magazine uh, says something that is similar. So when essential oils are inhaled via aromatherapy, compounds are absorbed through receptors in our nose noses, which sends message, which send messages to our olfactory systems, the part of the brain responsible for our sense of smell. Eventually, these messages could uh, reach other areas of the brain, such as the limbic system, which plays a role in our emotions. And so I'm adding that, um, have you noticed that, you know, others that can delight you or disgust you, that are olfactory, <laughs> our olfactory system is right there. Like it just tells you, right? Ooh, or, mm. <laughs> and what that does. So another will change one's mood uh, in a split second. Uh, a change of mood, a change of chemistry in our body, alter our emotions, feelings, the, cha the choice of our words. Because, you know, we might say out loud, oh, wow, that stinks. <laughs> And, you know, it, it might, depending on what's going on, if, you know, you might be offending someone around you by saying that, who knows? Um, but um, so, and some are aware of, of this effect that it has on us and some are not. 
So you kind of go in life and you think that because you know you live in an environment uh, where um, there are strong smells, it doesn't affect you really. Like in my case, I, I use only organic. So I wash my clothes uh, in organic uh, soap with no scent. So when I'm in an elevator with someone who I, I believe because of the, the scent is so the scent is so strong, as you tied or should I shouldn't mention any brand, but as you use <laughs> a, a laundry soap that is uh, leaving that such a strong smell, it, I, I, I can't wait to get out of there. I, it is so hard for me. I can't stay around that type of smell. I, and I live in a building where uh, when someone washes their clothes and use their, uh, of course, dryer, and then the air is sent out and I get that coming in through my suite. Oh, my gosh, it makes me miserable. So, yeah. So, you know, it, all, our, our factory sense is really, really um, efficient. <laughs> we, are, we, we are aware of that. Um, so today's, um, today, sorry. There's renewed interest in using essential oil to improve physical and psychological well-being. One poll found that a third Americans believe in the health benefits of essential oil and aromatherapy. Essential oils have a wide appeal, particularly among people who have grown dissatisfied with modern Western medicine. And this alternative therapy is showing no signs of slowing down. So that's awesome. So we're waking up. <laughs> that's fabulous. Now, um, the Cleveland Clinic. So, you know, I found something that was somewhat, you know, people would say, oh, yeah, I can trust that research. Because as you know, when you, you, look, you, start, you start to research with something that is alternative, that is um, going against, you know, the big pharma, the big industry out there that, you know, you, you say, well, eat less processed food. Well, you're going against big company when you say that. And you say, you know, eat good, look at your diet so that you don't suffer for, for, from illnesses. And then you don't need the pharmaceutical. Of course, the pharmaceutical doesn't like that. So that's why it's so hard to find information online that as a, uh, a you know, a, 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 um, a su substantial research because they just don't have the they don't have the the um, resources to do that they don't have the millions gazillions dollars to do that but you know your cleveland clinic i found that and it's it's um, it's it absolutely it also concur with other sites that i visited so they all say the same thing that's what i'm saying so beyond smelling great essential oils can also help improve your health and your mood and i just said your health for sure your mood for sure Alternative medicine enthusiasts have subscribed to the power of essential oils for years, but with their increasing avail availability and claim health benefits, they're going mainstream. So that's great. Um, plants are made of structural materials and phytochemicals. So we talked about phytochemicals in the past, right? How the phytochemicals in the food that we eat is so beneficial for us. So the plants, th that's what's happening, is that the, these chemicals have properties that are not only benefit the plant, but benefit people too. So that's what essential oil is doing, is extracting, you know, that, that, that those that those chemicals, uh, photochemicals in the in the oil, and then we benefit from it. So um, this is from Dr. Lynn in that Cleveland Clinic. And so she says that uh, it can boost your mood, improve job performance to reduce stress and increase, increase attentiveness. So that's an idea is, you know, in your building, uh, if you know of who does the maintenance, it matters what they use for chemical. So if instead of um, cleaning the, the, the desks and, and, you know, they actually do a mixture and adding oil to their uh, cleaning product rather than chemical, which is often used because of the cost, right? They go, oh, well, it's less costly to buy this five gallon of something and then they fill up bottles and they spray that all over the place, but it's highly chemical. So instead, you know, use uh, essential oil into the cleaning products. Um, if anything, use dif diffusers to, you know, put a scent in the air that would exactly do that, improve the job performance. And that'd be like when, if you're an owner, I mean, that's a good thing to do. It's, it's working for you. You're working, you're helping your employees, but you're helping yourself too. Improve sleep, kill bacteria, funguses, and viruses, 
reduce anxiety and pain, reduce inflammation, reduce nausea, and relieve uh, headaches. Amazing, amazing. And, and it's all natural, come plant, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's mother's nature's pharmacy. It takes a, trim what, what it is though with essential oil, of course, uh, it takes a tremendous amount of plant material to make oils, essential oils. We can make them uh, sometimes uh, expensive, but you also need like a drop. Right? So example, 250 pounds of lavender flowers to produce one pound of essential oil, 5,000 pounds of rose petals or lemon balm to produce one pound of those essential oils. So you see it's, it's taking quite a bit. Um, how, do, uh, how to use them? So Dr. Lin recommends being mindful about why and how you're using them, only in small amounts, typically a few drops are used. So if you diffuse them, you use a diffuser, you can put it on a cotton ball. And the cotton ball is pretty cool. If you do it on the cotton ball and somehow, I don't know how you could, but yeah, you put it where, like where there is forced air. So if you have that cotton ball with some uh, essential oil, then as the air is being forced into the, you know, the environment you're in, this um, essential oil will also be um, part of the air now that is being forced into where you are now. So it's great. Um, the other thing is, and that's what a diffuser do, of course, but you know, some people, they might say, I cannot just buy a diffuser yet. So you can do the cotton ball. Um, when we talked about earlier about um, to, to, you know, for certain ailment, like if you have um, uh, your nose is, is all blocked or what you can do and headache, what you can do is you take a bowl and use warm water. Don't use boiling water because there are nutrients again uh, in, in the essential oil. You don't want to cook them. So just warm food, like, you know, uh, warm water, sorry. Um, and then uh, in a bowl, few drops, and then a cloth over top of your head. And you put your head above the bowl and you breathe. Close your eyes and you breathe. So be very careful, just a few drops. Start with one, see how it goes, and then add more, but really just, just, just little. Um, you can simply open the bottle and breathe. <laughs> that alone is very efficient. Take a deep breath. Uh, there are also, you can also uh, roll it on your skin or apply on your skin. So when you apply directly to your body, use an already formulated essential oil that the, as a carrier oil with it, or follow the guideline if you do it yourself. So make sure you follow the guideline. And when you ingest them, remember that even a few drops will provide lots of plant material that can burn the musoco, mucosal lining in your mouth. So like we talked earlier, it takes pounds and pounds and pounds of the plant to produce the oil. So it's very, very, it's so um, potent. So be careful there, follow the, follow the directions closely. Now, which brand uh, should I buy? And I, I invite you to do your own research. Google, uh, you know, the best essential uh, oil company and go for the one that resonates with you. Like you read, read about the essential oil, look at the uh, reviews, find out maybe in your community, you know, of people that are using some, what the results do they get? Um, and, and make sure that, yeah, make sure you do your research. Don't, don't do this just, you know, uh, don't take this lightly. There is a part that I skip and I'm trying to find it. Oh, I think I skipped that part here that is so important that I wanted to tell you. So know that since the dawn of civilization, people have turned to the power of plants for eating healing purposes. There were no pharmaceutical company back in back, 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 back. None, none of those existed. None. So what first nation anywhere in the world? And, and then they, they, you know, they're the ones who really are connected to nature. And they're the ones who most likely have thought uh, non-native how to use. Well, they have, not, 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 uh, it's not a question. They have, they have thought non-native how to use, how to extract 
how to uh, yeah use the the oil the plant to heal you know whatever the illnesses you might they might have faced back in the days so first nation anywhere in the world have profound reverence for the bounty of nature healing power and have mastered the use to uh, of it to successfully care for their tribe so you might want to join and believe in nature nature's pure effective pharmacy i certainly did that's how i brought up my children it was all um, you know homeopathic and essential oil and and I, I still use it these days. I mean, I when I make uh, food, I make those amazing, wonderful macaroons that are a lemon. And I use the uh, lemon uh, oil, essential oil. It's such a, a deep, uh, amazing taste. Like it's 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 deep. It's it's uh, rich. It's uh, yeah. It's night and day. I mean, I do use lemon juice as well in that recipe, but I do add a few drops of that oil which makes a huge difference so like i said you know when you 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 want to find out which oil to use look at the website and find out what it says there and see if it resonates with you i mean in my case i i i did use uh, i'm using doTERRA um the, I'm, because i'm using it in food it's so important that you know it's also food grade there is no chemical added there is nothing you know that that has been changed and um, to the food, so it's very very important. So that's what I do, and then um, I so so that's why I'm using DoTerra. It's also when I looked at DoTerra, I was really um, inspired by how they 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 take and they give. So they go into those places in the world where those plants are grown because they don't grow anywhere else, just in that part of the world. It's also that it, it, there are plants who are actually native to that part of the world. So the soil, the the nutrients, the everything that you know the the the, the environment around that plant makes it so that that plant has the most potent. Um, phytochemicals in it and like it originates from there um and so i was i was really inspired by that that they would go to where it's native instead of maybe having taken and brought somewhere else and then start to grow it but the soil is just not as uh, compatible with the plant to give it the maximum and that sort of thing the other thing too that i was really inspired by is how they um uh, have uh, of course their team of people harvesting the plants that they need the plant material they need are from that part of the world and they have that deep profound respect knowledge uh, appreciation of that plant that they are investing and you can see when you visit their website you can see how they are um, so grateful so so grateful for doing that grateful yes they have the work but you can you can hear that their, their um, reverence to to the plant to you know the work they do but to the plant to the to mother earth it's just beautiful so that really inspired me and that's why i use doTERRA um a few things I just want to mention. So, and again, Duterra is amazing. Maybe other sites are as well. Uh, but there you'll find, you know, all there is to find about the uh, essential oil. Like you're researching for a, a certain oil and then it'll give you where it's from, what it's good for, the benefit, how it's harvested. They'll tell you, you know, so you can find a lot of information there. And I just put a few so that you can have an idea on a few of them that most people use and uh you know why would you consider using them and uh what benefit they would have and the uh you, i'm sure you heard of the frankincense essential oil so that one has a warm peaceful clear aroma uh it helps cleanse the skin it soothes and moisturizes dry skin it promotes radiant healthy looking complexion and it helps clean teeth and gums, uh, which which reminds me to say, careful what you put in your mouth, that toothpaste that you might use or the oil that you might use. You have in your mouth, you have a microbiome in your mouth, like your micro, your main one, you might say is in the gut. 
but you have a microbiome everywhere in your eyes in your mouth in 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 your lungs in your head in your heart and and so in your mouth when you use a toothpaste that might disturb that microbiome um <laughs> you're working against yourself there because our mouth is designed to, to do what it needs to do to keep our mouth healthy, so no cancer or things like that, but also to when you chew and you eat food to provide the enzymes already to start digesting the food. Very important to chew so those enzymes have time. But now if you use a toothpaste that comes in and kills, because they're microbes, right? Microbiome is microbes, kills those beneficial microbes, you're, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. So uh, there you go. This is from nature and that could help you to keep your uh, teeth and gum uh, healthy, uh, clean and healthy. Uh, also the nails um, and then uh, a warming sensation to the skin. So that's Frankenstein. It says that uh, it's called the king of oils. Frankincense essential oil is renowned as one of the most prized and precious essential oil of all. So that's the, the king of oils. Uh, I bet it takes a lot of plants also to produce that one. Lavender, I took that one, uh, I chose that one next. So lavender has been cherished for centuries for its unmistakable aroma and myriad benefits in ancient times. So soothe and moisture dry skin, help uh, keep air looking thick and healthy, provides a cooling sensation as a relaxing, peaceful, calming aroma and adds an, uh, a, a floral taste to water and recipe, and it's fresh in linens. It's a wonderful sense, isn't it? And you can have, you know, so, so many people have those little, little bag of uh, dried uh, lavender in, in their linen uh, cabinet, and it's very nice. Lemon essential oil is frequently added to food to enhance the flavor of desserts and main dishes, which I do, I use that for sure. And when added to water, lemon oils gives a bright taste that helps encourage hydration throughout the day. So there you go. So you say, ah, oh, no, I have to drink water, but I, I forget, I forget. <laughs> well, do that, put some essential oil into your water. And then it gives such a, a, a wonderful taste that actually you're not grabbing, let's say, a juice or, uh, you know, hopefully not a, 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 a pop like, you know, those full of sugar. So not just just yeah, that water with that lemon oil in it is absolutely amazing. Uh, you can put a few leaves of mint, like actual leaves in the in the water. Um, it cleans the surface and it helps remove sticky residue and grease. So instead of Gugon, you know, those products you get at the hardware store that are kind of, I mean, you don't want to touch that with your hands, whereas the other one, it, it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, the lemon oil wouldn't be a problem if it touches your skin, but the products that we get from the, the hardware store, you don't want that to touch your skin. You know that your skin is the largest organ of your body. So what touches it goes in it. Um, um, it has a brightened and whitening effect on tea. And it has a bright, refreshing citrus flavor to water. And we just talked about that. Peppermint. Peppermint is, well, has a wide range of benefit and freshening breath of, uh, to its energy, energizing aroma. Add to cold water, compressed food bath, cool off when overeaten. I mean, I know, I don't know what it is for you, but here today, it's uh, it's already so hot. <laughs> so it might be for you, depending where you are in the world. Tea tree is also used a lot, used by aborigines of Australia for centuries. And tea tree is ideal for using in aromatherapy to relieve colds, colds and coughs. Um, ginger, ginger essential oil, the main chemical constituent ginger essential oil is zingiberine, giving ginger is renowned spicy flavor and making it a popular ingredient in many Asian, Asian dish. But you know, if you have, uh, you're like, yeah, you're not digesting too well, you kind of, you know, fuss a bit, put a few drops of uh, that ginger oil and rub it on your tummy. A child, rub it on their tummy. They, they kind of love that. The scent is wonderful and it really works. Um, eucalyptus, uh, that's the last one also I chose to talk to you about. Healing from the fragrant leaves of the eucalyptus tree of Australia. Eucalyptus essential oil is known for its refreshing, airy aroma and tropical uh, cleansing benefit. Amazing. It can help clean uh, skin and scalp, 
can revitalize the look of healthy skins, provide a cooling sensation to the skin and freshen the air. So, so many things. So again, you know, it, it, it start believing in mother's pharmacy. Like I was saying here at the beginning, you might want to join and believe in nature, pure, uh, effective pharmacy. And, uh, you know, again, visit, I mean, I'm, I'm suggesting doTERRA, visit other sites if you like, uh, but include, include those essential oils in your life uh, for various purpose. It's, 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 it's mother nature at its best, knows exactly what it's doing. Now, what I will do is I will share with you my screen so I can show you my website. And uh, there we go. My website is here. And it, on, on my website, well, you, you'll see, you, you're watching me now in uh, Win Win Moment TV. On my website too, you have the, um, you know, you have the, the uh, link to go there as well. And you have so many more things on my website. So I use Modern Natures as well <laughs> for healing. That's my food. That's what I do. I use uh, the uh, living food to make all those appetizing dishes. And, and literally, it will transform your life and you regain, transform your health and regain your life. And it's a proven drug-free path of healing for your unresolved health concerns. It certainly did so much for me, so much for my family. I totally invite you to um, consider it. There is an ebook. You can have a, uh, uh, you can, um, sorry, uh, get the free ebook. And then in there you have recipes as well that are already in there. So you can start your healing journey using living cuisine, all the explanation why it's so fantastic. And it is here. You can see how many beautiful, gorgeous dishes you can create with uh, living cuisine. It's just it's just remarkable. See this. I mean, it's it's like it's 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 gorgeous. It's amazing. So you can use um those uh the, the recipes in there to make all those delicious recipes it doesn't mean i have a friend she says you're so easy to invite i just have to give you a carrot no <laughs> no i really enjoy it, all the other things not just the carrot so uh <laughs> so there are many recipes here you can look into uh the cake is free and that gives you an idea of how I'm, i uh, teach and how you like my teaching and then you can um experience it that way very easy as well and yes i teach with grams i'm not gonna teach any other way don't ask me for cups i won't do it why because it's so simple you see when you make the cake is using grams you don't have to guess you don't have to look at your measuring cup and go oh is it at the cup well maybe i'm not at the line if it's not a liquid right like you don't know exactly like i'm telling you use a quarter cups of dates what's that do i cut them the size of my thumb do i pack them down do I, what's that but if i tell you use a hundred gram of dates it's weight so you, there's no mistake to be done it's also that when you have a recipe and you go well i really like that cake my recipe is for a six inch and i have 12 people coming so i'm going to make it a larger cake you double the recipe, easy. Now, you know, when if I say to you, double two thirds of a cup, whew, it's like you have to start really thinking, you know, hard, how is this all gonna unfold? Whereas doubling a hundred gram of, of dates is 200 gram, boom, right there, right now, you have it, easy as that. So it's a really easy way of making food, so easy. At the bottom here, you, you can leave me a message. You can get in touch with me if you have any questions you might have. And as I was saying, you've got all the links here to various uh, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and where I have many, many uh, videos there to talk about this uh, this wonderful way of living and um, of having a wonderful life. So that being said, let me come back here. And uh, it was wonderful to have you with me today. I, I will see you again next week. And remember, I say it every time, a man or woman who has their health has a thousand dreams. When you don't, you only have one. <laughs>